How are we all doing today? Thought I'd make a little video about my lawnmower I just bought. This is a Crofts, Craftsman M270. Bought it at Lowe's. Uh, it's currently fall where we live here. And uh, our house backs to common ground that is wooded. And I blew some leaves out away from the house. And I got out my old Toro. And uh, I started it, it ran for a minute, then it locked up. So I needed a lawnmower badly. Usually fall is a, the normal time to buy a lawnmower, but I was kind of in a bind, so I had to buy it. I uh, saw a lot of other videos of this lawnmower on YouTube. Uh, I appreciate the guys that have posted uh, their videos and thoughts. Uh, I just want to give my thoughts on it real quick. Uh, one of the other videos mentioned that... Uh, the front wheel drive doesn't pull as well, as well as their old one. And that is true. It does not pull as well as my old Toro did. Uh, it's not that bad for me. Uh, our backyard, we've got about a 20 degree grade. Uh, front yard is about 30 degrees. And uh, the front yard is, is, it pulls a little less than the back. You do notice it in the front yard. But I'm not straining or anything. I do I do feel a difference when I engage the uh, self-propelled feature. Uh, uh, a couple things I like. Uh, it has the wheel adjustment. There is one on this side and one on the back on the, on the right side. Uh, this wheel adjustment adjusts both sides. So you don't have to go to four wheels and try to adjust the height. You just do it on the front and the back and you're good to go. So that, that feature is nice. I uh, love the electric start. It's it's a it's a great feature. It uh, probably won't work for more than two or three years. They usually don't, but it's nice to have now. And, and you do have a cord, uh, you know, when it does fail. Uh, one other thing I uh, I did. You may notice these clips here. Uh, when I store this lawnmower in our garage, I uh, we're, we're kind of pressed for space. We have a normal twenty by twenty subdivision garage, so I do have to collapse the handle and fold the handles uh, so my wife has room to get her car in and she can get by and get into the house. Uh, they have the normal uh, screws in here with the big handles, the big uh, plastic handles to go on the screws. Uh, if I do that, it would take forever. These clips are nice and easy. I bought these at Lowe's too. I just unhook them, pull it through, and I can collapse the handle. I can collapse the handle forward. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, another... Uh, one another person posted that he had to get this piece here he had to get the whole back of the lawnmower he had to uh, get it under warranty they had to have him send him one because he had cracks along here uh, and of course this is too new i've only used it a few times now don't have any cracks there yet uh, i think it was after uh, a year year and a half after he used it i i may be wrong but it was at least a year because it was still under his two-year warranty and they did send it to him of course he had to put it on uh i'm hoping these clips i have on here they're not perfectly tight so this handle does move a little bit as i'm using it you can see so i'm hoping that for, uh by that doing that it acts as kind of a shock shock absorber and it doesn't put so much stress down here in this area, the plastic. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I may be wrong. I may be buying, calling them and getting a new uh, piece under warranty too. But um, I'm, I'm hoping that's the case. Um, nothing else. I have to put some Gorilla Glue on it. Uh, one, uh, one thing, uh, one last thing. Uh, the first time I used it, I broke it. Uh, this cover here is for the uh, battery. For the electric start, it uses... Uh, a drill battery, a Craftsman drill, drill battery, which is really nice. If you have any other Craftsman tools, you'll use the same battery. It's the V20 battery. Um, I uh, It kind of sticks out kind of a little far. That battery doesn't come out this far. You got like a half inch in there. They could have made it a touch smaller here. But anyway, uh, I was cutting along my neighbor's fence. Uh, one of his posts sticks out and it hit it and it has plastic hinges here and it broke broke the plastic hinges. Uh, I found it in the yard. So uh, what I ended up doing, I just drilled a hole here and I just put a, a deck screw in here, a short deck screw. Uh, it works. I can still get to the battery. There's the uh, drill battery 
right there. I could still get to it and pull it out. So, um, minor issue, like I said, that that's on me. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's running good so far. It cuts the grass nice. Uh, we'll we'll see how it lasts. Maybe I'll put a follow-up video on on it uh, next year after a year after I use it all summer next year, and uh, yeah, see how see how she runs. Like I said, the electric starts nice. Push it, starts right up. Yeah, that that part's great. Of course, I've been using it, but it's it's uh it does that when you first turn it on too. So anyway, uh, just my thoughts on this. Uh, if you buy one, good luck. And like I said, there's there are things to watch out for. Like I said, the uh, the plastic bottom of the handle that does get a lot of stress. Uh, my, my old Toro was metal there. Um, so that that's something to think about. Um, but of course, the old my old Toro. If I would buy one of those now, I'd probably pay about two hundred dollars more than I paid for this one. This one was just right at four hundred dollars. So uh, if you get one, good luck. Uh, cuts the grass good. It's uh, for for the money you pay. It's it's probably a good deal. So uh, I'll let you decide that. Thank you.